Hey guys, Sony Soy Stars Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review on this supposedly Good Friday. I can honestly tell you, not in a good mood today. But cigar always put people in a good mood, right? So we gotta have a cigar. Today we are doing the Mel Diaz. This is a long ass name. Mel Diaz Bellicoso Fino LE 2023. There we go. This is provided to me by the Cigar Collective. Peter, I always want to say Cigar Collector, but I know it's called Cigar Collective. So he provided me with this cigar and let's take a good look at this cigar, okay? This cigar is five and a half by 52 Bellicoso MSRP at $12.95 per cigar, limited to 1500 box of 12 cigars. And in turn of the blend, it's the same Mel Diaz Ecuadorian Habano over a Nicaraguan binder and the fillers Costa Rica, Nicaraguan and Peru. Okay, so very simple. For some reason, this this Bellicoso, like the person was like just rolling this thing. Why? Why so sharp? Like it's gonna poke your eyes out. It's gonna poke your eyes out. Ah, ah. You know, poke your eyes out. So. Ah. All right. First, let's go with crown head band so I can smell the cigar. Sounds horrible. So I can smell the cigar. Sounds horrible. But I got to drag the beginning a little bit. My wife's actually vacuuming upstairs. I got to make sure it's quiet. <laughs> All right. Crown head. Nothing special. Standard band. Logo. You know? This is the one of those things like sometimes like, oh, other people's logo is so simple. They can just print whatever they want. And our logo is so hard to print, so. Woodsy, but the foot is kind of sweet. Yeah, the foot is a little bit sweet. Ecuadorian Habano just smells like woodsy cedar Habano. Nothing crazy about it, but the foot. Has a little sweetness to it. So. <laughs> Whoa, shoot. Ooh. People ask me today, like, why do I wet the cap before I cut it? Now, uh, normally when you see me doing the live, oh, that pepper. <laughs> normally when you see me doing the live, I wouldn't do this that often. I'll just cut it. It's because they are in the humidor and I don't really care. But these cigar for review, they are usually in a drier environment so that when I smoke it, it's not going to be wet and spongy. So they're drier and just in case, you know, give it a kiss isn't that bad. To kind of uh, give a little more chance for the cigar to not crack. Because they often do. The cap, you got to keep in mind, a lot of times the cap is just like this thing that they just press it onto it. It's like a, it's like a punch. They get like that and go... Really quickly, it doesn't always go around, and, it's, and over time, the 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 the, the pattern and stuff like that it dries up. It doesn't it doesn't help. Whoa, the draw is super loose. That's sweet cedar. Yeah, just sweet cedar. That's all I got. Mm hmm. I'm toasting it, believe it or not. I'm toasting it, believe it or not. Yeah, I am, I am. Look.
Woodsy, Cream. A little bit of pepper underneath. Floral. A little bit of hay bitterness. <laughs> wow. It creeps in on you a little bit. It yeah, it creeps up on you, the pepper. It's like a tingling that kind of spreads. It's sweet, but also have that the sweet went away kind of bitterness too. All right, twelve ninety five. Okay, there's a lot of hype over this cigar. I I keep not wanting to do this cigar because I feel like you know I'm just gonna get tomatoes and eggs thrown at me. Which is pretty much what happens every time there is argument in the Legion. Somebody pissed me off. I defend myself. The first thing is Tony's wrong. Always. No one comes to defend me. It's always like, hey, cut it out. But why is it always cut it out? Like, why is nobody ever come to support and say, hey, don't bully our leader? Kind of thing. It's always like, Tony, you're wrong. No, nobody likes you. You know, yeah, here goes my whining. I just want to whine a little bit. All right. So, yeah, it's sweet. It's kind of nice. It's pepper. Like, that pepper is so weird. The way that it spreads. Spreads out is so weird. It's not like the entire mouth is just a little bit and it creeps up. It's like peppercorn. All right, so let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. Uh, I would think that's one third because this thing is tiny. So if I was to count like two finger length, I don't have much left. So I will say that's one third. And the first third, very tasty. Very, I don't know, like tingly, woodsy, floral, cologne, manly taste. I think that's the right way to describe it. There's a lot of it going on. And I think the strength in the beginning feels about like a medium, medium plus. The draw is great. It does have that. It has a little bit of sweetness too. And that sweetness is like um, the tip of your tongue. It doesn't, it, it's like. It's there and then boom, gone. Boom and gone. So. Alright. So yeah, that's what for the first third. And a lot of flavor. A lot of everything. It leaves your tongue tingly. Not so much on the, the retro hair or, or like it just. It's there. Flavor is there. And that cologne taste. It's that Peruvian tobacco. Every time I smoke a to Peruvian tobacco, it's got this like a deep, dark note of like a floral cologne. Old man taste, kind of. It's good, but you can you can taste that. It's, it's it's there. It's that. It's on the. It, it it works well with this floral taste, I guess, because it makes it taste like cologne. But it, it's also woodsy, so that kind of like cancels it out. So it's not like. Too much of cologne is woodsy and cologne. Yeah, it's got good flavor, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so far, so good. I, I think I smoke it really quickly because it tastes kind of good. So let's get into the second third, which I think we just passed the bend and then we have a little bit for the last third. And then we'll find out what, what happens. We'll continue. Be right back. Still woodsy. Still floral, still a lot of flavor, still kind of strong. I'm not too sure. Kind of strong. Might be because it's so short, I smoke it so fast, but still kind of strong. I can only say it tastes different. It tastes different. I almost tastes like there's a little bit of lemongrass note to it too. Oh, the pepper rimmed up. The pepper rimmed up. Now it hurts my nose. Now it hurts my nose. <clears throat> Oof. 
Yeah. It's not a bad cigar in terms of amount of flavor. There's a lot of flavor in this one. The draw is great. Smoke output is good. Burns wicked fast. And that's all I can talk about this cigar right now. I mean, this... It's just a lot of hype to it. And I, I don't really understand it. It does taste different. It does taste pretty good. If you like floral and all, you like lemongrass, you like woodsy combo with the peppery stuff. That's a great cigar. That is a great cigar. But uh, if you're kind of confused like me right now, it's like, uh, it's great. But like, what's the hype about it? Like, why is somebody like so excited? They came out with so many sizes for this shit. I don't understand it. But I can't say it's a bad cigar. I was going to say this was a bad cigar because I was in a bad mood. But like, cigar is actually pretty good. Cigar is actually pretty good. All right, Laster, be right back. I could I swear I took off another band. Where is it? Oh, never mind. There it is. Not that you want to see this thing is any different, but limited edition 2023. This is very like Cuban cigar style. We'll have some edition limitada, but it says limited edition. Yeah, here we go. Be right back. Okay, I finished it up. So, as you can see, I'm kind of not being because there's not a lot of cigar in here. Luster, still woodsy, still sweet. Got a little bit of mineral here and there. But still floral, still sweet, still woodsy. Still, I mean, the flavor is pretty relatively consistent. So, I can say that's a pretty good cigar. Pretty good cigar, especially if you like floral. It's a very good cigar. So... That being said, I give it 13 bucks. This is tiny. 13 bucks. Could be even 13 and a half. But 13 bucks. I gotta give it 13 bucks. So yeah, 13 bucks. Recommend it. It's not, not a bad cigar. I can see why people like it. And, but then, you, I get, again, you gotta like floral. Uh, if you don't like floral, probably not like it. I don't know. For me, floral doesn't bother me. I smoke a lot of avos. Uh, floral is okay. Um, it's not overly cologne. The Peruvian cologne taste is not overly like that, so it's actually not bad. Not bad. I can I can I can up this. So thirteen bucks. Where we gotta be? So yeah, big thanks to uh, Peter, the cigar collective, for sending me the cigar. You know, it is one of the cigar I kind of hesitate to review because my wife is I say it's bad, and then everybody go. You know, you never know. But for now, this cigar is pretty good. Worth the price. Yeah, if you find one. Go smoke one, you know. Um, it's not. I wouldn't say it's out of the price range, right? So it's thirteen bucks. I think that's few cents more than the MSRP. Few cents, so it's not a lot. Thirteen bucks, and um, uh, in terms of cigar price, thirteen bucks is not out of the norm for a cigar, especially a special size like this, like kind of Bellicoso and stuff like that. It's hard to roll, right? So thirteen bucks, no problem at all. And that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, yeah, do the rest of the stuff. You know that the, the, the Jess, I probably said it like 400 times. So, and that will be it. And if I release this on this weekend, then happy Easter. If not, then happy whatever day you are. See you guys next one. Bye, guys.